Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Up the Humbugs. And I've got a fair bit to update you on. We've played a few games off uh, camera, and um, it, yeah, it's not it's not been the best run. <laughs> In fact, it's been our worst run all season. Um, we started off with a three-two loss against Bark. Uh, no, you saw that. What am I about? Marine. We played Marine. Sorry. <laughs> My, I'm not very well. My brain is not working properly. Uh, you saw the barking result. You saw the marine result. Um, Clacton, 2-2. Two, two. We were 2-0 up. And I was thinking, oh, lovely. Back to business. Easy. Oh, no. No, no. They were completely on top the second half. They probably should have won the game as well. Yeboah was causing us all kinds of issues. Um, Martin Dennis and Liam Chadwick scored for us early on. But we just could not hold them back. And uh, we just collapsed. I say collapsed. This game was even worse. We were 4 0 down at half time. That's right. 4 0 down at half time. We tried a, a slightly different tactic. It's fair to say we won't try that tactic again. Um, we got two goals back in the second half through Olakolu and Gilbert. It wasn't enough, though. And uh, probably, our, well, definitely our worst defeat of the season yet 5 2 against Holbridge. We then had a game against Sawbridgeworth. In the league, one, I thought we'd win. And again, we went up early. A penalty, which Kane Gilbert slotted home in the fifth minute. And uh, things were going hunky-dory until the 85th minute when Aaron Humphreys found himself through on goal and got the all-important equaliser for Sawbridge uh, worth. <coughs> However, we turned things around and we did beat Earlham in our first uh, FA Vars game. Second, sorry, second FA Vars game. It's the first round. Um, of course. We begin at the defence of <coughs> the FA Vars. And uh, and we did so in fine style. Very rarely threatened by Earlham. Uh, they're on a similar sort of level. Martin Dennis, Kane Gilbert and Olakolu with the goals. A bit of a theme here. Uh, Olakolu, you know, he had a bit of a dip. I uh, actually took him out of the team for a little bit and put him on the bench. He's starting to uh, find a bit of form again. And then today, obviously, we have the Woodford Town and Frenford game in the league. It's been a while since I brought you just a league episode, so I'm excited to get into these games. Now then, in terms of the league, uh, this is where we stand. Sixth place, we have a game in hand on the majority of teams ahead of us. Um, and we are currently a point off of playoffs and eight points off of top spot. But again, those teams in top spot and that fifth place have a game in hand. So... Um, Ideally, we'll win that game in hand and uh, we'll be right back up there. This is going to be a tough season. I was talking about it on my Discord. And uh, there's not one team kind of running away with it yet. I know Benfleet are four points clear, but again, Benford have got a game in hand on them. I wouldn't say there's one team sort of overpowering everyone else. And uh, that can make it a lot more difficult for us to try and hit the playoffs if there's, if there's you know a good seven or eight teams battling it out, which there are at the moment. I mean, 10 points separate 1st to ninth. It's going to be tough. Just a little reminder of the uh, season sort of preview. We're expected to finish 5th. Um, so we're kind of where we should be. So, uh, you know, I can't be too disappointed. Holbridge are up there, Tilbury, FC Romania, Coggeshall, Barking. I mean, all these teams are kind of where they should be. One thing I did want to look at was the XG table. Well, I wish I hadn't looked at it now. <laughs> According to the XG table, we should be second. Um, yeah. I mean, if that doesn't kind of sum up our need for a world-class striker, I don't know what does. Gilbert's great, but we just haven't got that person scoring week in, week out for us. We should be second. That's mental. That's mental. Tilbury should be third. Great Wakering. Look at Great Wakering. They should be fourth. They're ninth. Oh, I thought I'd update you very quickly regarding transfers. Um, we're in October. The window's kind of open um, throughout now for us. We can kind of bring in free agents whenever we want. There's not really a, a structure at this level. And I'm at the point now where I feel like I need to start thinking with my head and not my heart with some of the players in our squad. There's some who have hit their potential very early on. They're not going to get any better. And there's some that are not going to get any better and we're not using. So really, we need to try and move them out. 
these are just a few names that I'm looking at. No one in particular at this level is very much just try and get someone in who can do exactly what you want. Um, I mean, you're never going to have the perfect player at this level, but, you know, for example, if you want a striker, just go for someone that can finish. <laughs> well, this is how we're going to line up for this game against Woodford. It's away from home. We're going for our balanced um, sort of tactic. I have made a couple of other tactics as well, just to experiment with them. We've got a slightly more... Uh, which is my defensive one? This one. This is my slightly more defensive one. We play with a, like a holding midfielder behind the two in central midfield. And then we've got our attacking one where we play a 4-2-4, two up top. Um, it, it might be interesting to experiment with that over time. <clears throat> but today, uh, just one change. Dutton comes in. I, well, saying that one change, probably a few changes since you last saw us play. Because Baker Moran is, uh, is starting up top for us. Now, hasn't exactly hit the ground running, but Sal Williams, for love nor money, can score a goal. So, um, yeah, Bacon Moran comes in. Joseph keeps his place at the moment. Uh, had a very good game last time out. Uh, Olicolo remains on the bench. Simon Parson is out the team. Dutton comes in. Uh, we've got Duncan on the bench. Kokolakis on the bench. Uh, the defence is pretty... I mean, it picks itself week in, week out. Cherry also is having a, a decent run of form. A goalkeeper is something that I'm looking at bringing in. Uh, because Cherry, I mean, he, he is just getting worse. And for, it, there's no two ways about it. He's 28 years of age. He's not exactly old for a goalkeeper, but he's just dipped massively. Um, I, I feel like I'm partly to blame for that because I bought in Wells and tried to have him play as much as possible. Maybe we'll give him a bit more of a run out. He's got good potential. But for now, we'll stick with the experience, Cherry. Let's get into the game. Well, Woodford come into this not in the best of form. One win in the last five games. Um, well, unfortunately it's the same for us however we do have two draws in there so uh, slightly better we win on that front will we have a highlight straight away from kickoff yes <laughs> almost uh, Davies to Newton Woodford in the blue we are in the famous black and white the ball comes in oh. Thirty seconds. Right, we have our second highlight of the game, uh, and it's Woodford on the attack again. If we go two 0 down here, this is, we're in a terrible position. Oh, it's a good save. I think was it more? I think more blocked it actually. But uh, we we cleared our lines for now. They will try and come back at us. We, I mean, we look a shadow of what we were a month ago in game. 0.45 xg we find ourselves one nil down and just not creating anything and i don't know for the life of me why um is there anything here that i've changed or need to change i guess run at defense we'll put that back on i know i had that on in the first place um we'll try that see if it makes a difference let's see here cherry has got a goal kick to restart play uh, it's a good goal kick, actually. He's found Joseph on the left-hand side. Joseph back to Dutton. Reynolds, Knight. And then Knight finds a forward pass to Chadwick, who just runs into a player and loses it. I mean... <sighs> Rowe. Bit of a burst forward. Oh, my God, Rowe. All the way? Oh, my God, that would have been a hell of a goal. <laughs> I don't know what possessed him to shoot. But here we are again. Oko on the ball for Woodford. Gets into the box. Good tackle by Gilbert. Ball comes in though. Cherry punches away. Not far enough. Davis. Oh my god, he's hit the post. We are under the cosh. But we do have a throw down near their goal. A goal before half time for us would be amazing as Baker Moran attempts a backwards header and uh, it causes a little bit of trouble for the keeper. Rowe picks it up, but the highlight ends. Gilbert not having a particularly good game. But I'm loath to drop him because it's Gilbert, man. I can't drop Gilbert. Half time 1 0. Or. I'm not going to be too harsh on the team because I don't think that helps. Uh, certainly at this point. I feel like we're in a very fragile position. We're kind of on the edge. 
and I think another bad performance or two will just completely drop us off um, the face of promotion and playoffs, to be completely honest. And it sounds stupid because it's October, but it's like that. It's so cutthroat in this division. Um, I'm thinking of putting Gilbert up top. I'm going to put Gilbert up top, bring on Olakolu on the right-hand side and play him as a winger. Gilbert as a pressing forward. Let's go back to this. It worked before. I feel like I've tinkered a little bit too much um, off camera and um, it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get back to the fluidity that we had before. We have a highlight. I was just blowing my nose for the millionth time in two days. I hate colds. Uh, but we've got the ball. Dutton looking for options. He's forced to go back to Knight who finds a lovely ball over the top towards Olakolu. Ball across. Gilbert. Kane Gilbert scores. It's 1-1. And we are back in the game. Gilbert's 10th goal of the season. A lovely little... Um, a lovely run into the box by Olakolu. A good ball over the top from Knight. I was like watching Harry Maguire. And a good pull back. Gilbert's there to tap it home. For a minute, I thought he was going to screw that up. Right. 1-1. One, one. And all of a sudden, I, I feel the confidence flooding back in. Can we capitalise on it? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, God. Davis whips one in towards the back post. Cherry punches it away. And eventually it falls to Gilbert, who is robbed by Mason. I tell you what, had he kept that... Oh my god, Cherry, what are you doing? What is going on here? Boys. Oh dear. Oh, Cherry's got it. Um, I was going to say, had Gilbert knocked it past that man, he was in. They're, playing, uh, they're putting a lot of people up for their free kicks and corners. There's a ball from Cherry, finds Joseph, who knocks it on. Can only knock it on to their keeper, unfortunately. This is a very long highlight. Could go either way. As Woodford play out from the back. Newton. Bat. Out wide for Oko. Oko. Charging forwards. Can't get a foot in. In towards Kubik, who headers it. And Cherry. Oh, I think Cherry had it covered. But it's been headed over and now Moore looks tired. I need to start playing Kokolakis because Moore's stamina is terrible. What is his stamina? Six. Why is he going down? Oh my god, look at he's he's 19 and he's just decreasing and everything. Why is that? That's a little bit alarming. Alright, Kokolakis on. We have a corner. No, we don't. It's well we did have a corner. Just wasn't a uh, an important corner. I've right, got another highlight. Kokolakis to take the throw in. Finds Dennis. Dennis towards the back post. Joseph's there. Joseph's up. And let's with Joseph. Heads it in at the back post. It's a massive goal for us. 2 1. Oh, God, we needed that. That is a huge, huge goal. Let's put time wasting on now. Can we get a third? That's asking a bit much, isn't it? Reynolds to Joseph. He's had another really good game. Joseph. Can he pull one into the box? He can. Olakolu's at the back post. Olakolu with the header. Oh, it's in! It's a looping header. I think it's an own goal. It is an own goal. Harry lands, lands down? I, I don't know quite what's happened here. Joseph with the cross. And Olakolu with a looping header. Uh, Lansdowne's gone to clear it and he's just headed it into the net. It's a great header from Olakolu, to be honest. Really, really good header. Now let's protect Gilbert. We'll bring on Williams, our final sub. <clears throat> be nice if he could get a goal just for his confidence. But make no mistake about it, this is a huge result for us. Where are Woodford in the league? All right, they're, they're pretty much bottom, but still, big result for us. Corner, Reynolds to take. In it goes towards Kokolakis. Oh, would have been lovely to see him get a goal. A couple of minutes less, uh, left. Four minutes stoppage time. It looks like we're going to see this one out. 3-1, a big three points away from home. Again, it's a team near the bottom of the table at the moment. But just for our mentality, that's going to do wonders. Good, good result. Joseph, outstanding, once again. 
Very good result. Well, this is going to be a slightly different lineup. Not the one I wanted to go for. I actually planned on putting Gilbert back up top, Olakolo on the right, and having um, either Long or Dennis in that number 10 position. Long, however, is only fit for 45 minutes. And as you can see, I did not rest my team after that game. And it's come at us thick and fast. How many days do we have between it? We had two days rest. I did not rest my team. And a lot of them are quite tired because of that. So this is going to be a tough, tough game. Second in the league, Fenford. I'm not going into this with a great deal of confidence now. Right then, free kick early doors from Fenford. And uh, it does go wide. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to rest my team. It's so crazy that the fixtures have come at you so fast. I'm sure they could have put that somewhere else. It's a big game this as well. The last game was big just for our mentality and confidence. This game though, if if we win this, we go ahead of Fenford and we're back up into like second. If we lose this, I mean, let me just check the. Oh, I was going to check the league table. Oh, I don't want to do that. I've got the ball. We'll keep half an eye on that as we get the league table up. Yeah, so there we go. There's the league table as it stands. Now, if we're to win this, we'll be on 28 points. We'll be two ahead of Frenford. If we lose this, we'll be four points behind them. It's a big game as they nearly score. Right, let's give it to that. They very nearly scored there. They hit the post and it's out for a throw. I just realised FC Romania and Coggleshall are... Two of the favourites for playoffs this year, this year. And they're right down the bottom of the league. Of course, this game is also huge to stay within touching distance of Benfleet. Who, you know, I was only just saying at the start of the episode. No team has run away with it yet. However, if we win this game, we'll be five points behind them. If we lose, we're eight points behind them. Ugh. I think playoffs are the things to aim for. Is that ball, oh, Chadwick. Got to do better with that. Giving it away. Davis now can bring it forwards for Fenford. 34 minutes played. I wouldn't say they've been better than us. Especially with efforts like that. Um, we, we seem to be keeping them away from our penalty area, which is always a good thing. And according to the XG, we've had a clearer sight of goal. Five minutes to go until half time. I wouldn't be disappointed with a draw. I will throw that out there early doors. I would not be disappointed with a draw, considering the run we've been on and considering the, the, the state of our team going into this game. A draw would not be terrible. One last highlight before halftime. Olakolu, come on. It's deep. Joseph's there. <clears throat> I thought maybe we would get a penalty for holding or something. Oh, Johnson's failed his clearance. Good pressing. Joseph. Oh, come on. No, no, half time. To be fair, we've played all right. We, we've, we've had a pretty good first half uh, compared to Brentford. It would be lovely if we could just steal a goal and take all three points. It would be huge. But that's a tough ask. And some of these players are looking very fatigued. Right, time to sub off some of these <laughs> players before they die. Um... Reynolds off the night. I think we'll bring on Simon Parson for Chadwick. Well, that's all for now. Sal Williams is on a 5.9 rating. That is shocking. Lesroy Joseph, 1 0 back post. I didn't expect that to happen. I did not expect that to go in, but again. It's a lovely ball from, is it Kokolakis? Oh, it is. And Joseph nods it in. He's quite good at doing that. Nods it in at the back post. I wonder what his heading stat is. I want to get Sal Williams off. He's been terrible today. And to think, he had the cheek when I signed Baker Moran. He had the cheek to pop up and go, oh, I'm a bit worried about my game time boss. Really? <sighs> Question is now, can we see this out? Gilbert Knight. Just under 10 minutes left to play of normal time. And we have the ball. We've had really good possession this game. We were on, on like 64% possession. Um, well, last time I checked before this highlight. Oh, Dutton's lost it though in the middle of the park. 
Muns. Oh, Duncan's done well to cut it out, though. Baker Moran to Simon Parson. Baker Moran. It's a lovely run made by Olakolu. A good pass to find him as well. Olakolu into the box. Oh, he's gone for the shot. I feel like he should have pulled it back. <laughs> this is getting a little bit tense now. We were on a, like a 2.57 XG. If we were to draw this game now, I'd be very disappointed. But Baker Moran's in. Why has he headed it so early? He had time to bring it down and shoot. And now I feel Fenford might get a chance. Or not. Gilbert's picked it up. Loads of space. Baker Moran. I'm going to send him back to his club in a minute. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Munton. Oh, he's had a shot from about 30 yards. I don't know why he did that. And Cherry grasps it. Four minutes of stoppage time. 2.71 XG now. If, we're not, if we don't get three points from this, I'll be so annoyed. Oh, no, it was a highlight in the last five. Please, not like this. Baker Moran. They've committed bodies forwards. Olicolo's in to make it two and seal the three points. Come on. Jesse Olicolo seals the three points for Halstead. A massive win against second in the league. And now we're second in the league. A big, big win. We're up to second. Five points behind Benfleet. Two clear of Holbridge, Tilbury and Frenford. Hopefully that's the end of our rocky patch. Right then, next episode, we will be visiting White Ensign and hosting Tilbury at Rosemary Lane. I've got quite a few games to play off, off camera in between those. I, I was going to do Take Clean Ilford, but let's face it, we should be winning those games. White Ensign are seventh, Tilbury are currently fourth. I think those will be a lot more entertaining to watch. Um, again, if you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me massively. We're on one or two subscribers. It's awesome. Thank you so much for watching and following the series. I'll catch you in the next one.